My name is Sachiko Izawa. I'm an ovarian cancer surgeon and obstetrician and gynecologist. More importantly, I'm a mom of twin boys. Now, before I get into my story, let me ask a question. Do you or have you imagined that you're having a family? If so, do you or did you have any preference for boy or girl? With advance of technology, it's possible to choose your child's gender and also any other characteristics, such as eye color, skin color, or even IQ. If you could choose, would you choose, or should you choose? Let me talk about my personal story. When I was pregnant, 12 weeks gestation, I found out my son's gender. Son, obviously boy though, but in my clinic, outpatient ward, using my ultrasound, I was screening myself. Of course, after all my patients back home, I just sneakily into my room and did it. And seeing the scream, I found out, oh, one boy. Ah, two boys. Okay. And thinking of my husband, who was keen to have a daughter. Hmm, because he came from the family with all boys. And I was, I was a bit nervous because ah, I didn't want to break his hope. I knew he wanted to have a ba baby girl. After all, I couldn't tell him. But when baby is born, do you think we are sad because of gender? No. Not at all. We are extremely happy. Because we love them. And after having children, I learned lots of lots of things. Even 20 years career as an obstetrician and gynecologist. is not long enough, or maybe hasn't taught me well. It's a joy every day to see my son's development, especially personality. For example, one moment, ah, I can find part of my gene on him. Oh, and then I found my husband part of gene. Hmm. And then there is some something purely unique to them. Might be from grandpa, might be grandma, or might be from an ancestor. Also, my children demonstrate our habits. For example, socks left everywhere. That's not mine. <laughs> Leaving the things until the last minute. I don't deny. <laughs> All of this, a joy of evolution. It's real joy. I know sometimes, as a working mother, when One's running that way, the other one's running that way. So, oh my God, stop it. I need to go. That sort of like, that's a hard time. That's also part of a joy because they are not programmed. 
with technology these days. You can genetically engineer a child. Do we need it? What do we lose with the kind of programming? But we miss out on joy if we don't the technology. However, there's a reason to do so, which is a medical reason to look for medical disorder. And there are no medical reason also that is truly controversial matter, which is called sex selection. That could be family balancing. That could be another reason, which is cultural reason. Or just to have an heir or some other reason. This study shows significantly gender bias of in favor of a son among Chinese, Arabic, Indian couples. In contrast, Caucasian and Hispanic prefer to have a daughter. Oh, by the way, my husband is Scottish. What is the medical background of this technology? After analyze all of genome types, and then many things we got to know, lots of things. The genome is very, very strange and very ununderstandable. But we discovered how easy you hate hangover. <laughs> Why this gene connecting with make your IQ higher? Who is your ancestor? And the risk to get certain disease. PGT stands for pre implantation genetic testing. And it is a test that can count chromosomes and show us the makeup of embryo, such as XX, XY, or in certain instances, if there are any chromosomal abnormalities. Because of this technology developed so, so rapidly, There are many, many issues, unresolved issue exist, which is ethical or which is legal. Issues such as patient autonomy, reproductive liberty, reproductive health, and reproductive rights. The other hand, issues of legality are different legal standards. Country such as the UK and the majority of European country has such a role like regulate certain method which is PGT for se sexual selection, gender selection for your baby. But country such as Japan India 
Chile, Colombia don't have such a rural means we don't have law on this matter at all. Outside of medical world, the existence of and issues surrounding PGT are not necessarily well known. However, it is still a matter of common interest. No rules in law. And this medical and ethical and legal system should be interrelated. But this relation is not mature yet. And it also there's a gap, huge gap in between medical technology, ethical, legal, and common interest. What we should do is the matter still in the common interest. So we have to think about it and discuss about it and decide what to do how do this relation to develop? And not only child gender selection, new technology, it's popping up day by day, one after another. In some way, life is getting comfortable more and more. And so many new technology, probably in the near future, self-driving car will drive your home after work. Or maybe that car will be flying car. So another example is that sort of technology can give you a chance to choose your child gender or even design your child. That's the technology because the change it's subtle and subtle. You don't really recognize this massive changing in this world. So technology is technology that should be driven in human being. But human being shouldn't be driven by technology itself. Thank you for listening.